I'll, I'll, re I'll read it out for you. <laughs> Into the house they let in a stranger. <laughs> Two lived happily, now three live in danger. Mm. It's just that, yeah, it's basically there are, uh, there's two people, third guy comes in, three, you know, it, it is a triangle. And the story is based on a triangle. It's so sad, other films are just made on a triangle. And that's really boring because everybody's watched triangles. In this, three is a triangle that starts right from the beginning. They've already told you that. Uh, they are a couple, he's the bad guy who comes in as a guest. Told you that. But what after that? The mystery unfolds. Why he's bad, etc. You know, it does happen in a lot of films. They don't base or tell you why this guy is bad. You know, in old films, you just have this guy who plays the bad guy who's murdering people with no reason. He's the Daku or he's the bad guy. But <laughs> here, there's a reason behind why it's that and why it's un unfolded in a way and then where their lives lead to, what's going to happen next, what happens with that house. Slowly, slowly, and then eventually other twists and turns. And there's so many we can't tell you because it is a mystery. But uh, other than that, another reason for three is, of course, Love Lies Betrayal, which happens in the film. But I think if you count the emotions, the film will be called ten, because <laughs> there are many more things that, that happen more than Love Lies and Betrayal. I think also more than a triangle, it's called a pyramid. Each side of the pyramid would probably be Ashish, me and Oshin. At the top of the pyramid is this house, which all of us are trying to obtain. So it's the journey to the house, how we try to obtain and how important that house is to us. Vikram Bhatia, yeah, who's a master with this genre, uh, Vishal, who's understood the medium so well because he's worked with him since he was 17 and he's only 28 now but 11 years from clapper boy to like a proper assistant to the sixth assistant, assistant to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He's learned it all and, mm -hmm. and now director and done such a good job that um, uh, we all are so happy about being a part of this. I think rather than classifying the characters, like Ashish said, he's a bad guy, it's a love triangle. I mean, we should look at it from a, a realistic perspective. Uh, these are about ordinary people living in normal situations, realistic situations, and how they're catapulted into like crazy behavior, extreme behavior. And I think us as characters would be very happy if the audiences saw this film as a mirror to society and be able to place themselves in the character's shoes and say, if we were put in this position, if we were put in this extreme like nature of relationships, would we react the same way? Would we behave the same way? Because I think rather than judging the characters, I think about classifying them, I think they should relate to them and be able to live through them. I think the best thing about Vishal is that he's given all his actors the freedom without knowing their boundaries. He had, his, he had our boundaries for us set up, but he didn't let us know the boundaries. So mm. we as actors had fun, we're playing, we're pushing the limits. But he's controlled us and directed us in such a manner that we thought we were free. But at the end of the day, when you see the film, we're like, oh, he has controlled us completely from A to Z. He's the one who has guided this film. Well, we have Mr. and Mrs. Dutt who are staying in that house. They have uh, uh, just that house and they're running into many losses and she's the one who... Financial crisis. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, financial crisis, etc. And they basically need money. They can't sell the house for various reasons. Can't tell you all the details, but the point <laughs> is they want to make some uh, money and the easiest way is by giving a portion of the house. Uh, and that, because it's a big house and I take a portion of the house. So, and he's a character who's a singer at uh, a bar and he's taken up this house uh, for the reason of staying or maybe more or less <laughs> something else. So uh, that, that's the plot, that's where these characters emerge from. I play Sanjay, they play Mr. and Mrs. Dutt. Together I, it would have been Sanjay Dutt. This film, first of all, is a complete original. Which, of course, we can guarantee say because now people are suing people and you have to buy the rights so or you're totally in a mess, your film can't release, etc. So, it's an original film. Um, it's not inspired from Vikram's relationships, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it's not, in case anyone wants to think anything like that. It's completely uh, a script that has been made off the pen of Vikram Bhatt. So, obviously, it'll have his shadow. Not only that, he's also written the dialogues of the film, mm. which he's written for the first time in his career. He's an immensely talented uh, literature student. He writes, he reads, and he's, he's got so much command over, uh, you know, expressing his thoughts by the pen that he turns out to be a very deep person when it comes to this. So, he has put uh, his thoughts together. He writes in a very weird way. He'll go away to Scotland in some corner and mountain sit and write. He's like that. So he's, he's penned this film, not only the script, but also the dialogues. So it has to have a shadow of his and more or less even Vishal is a shadow of his because he's grown past 11 years only under his wing. Gotcha. And uh, that's why this is so typical a Bhatt film. I'll be very clear. Listen, I'm the person I like to have fun. I like me and Ashish had a great time. But see what he does. He is senior to me, so I respect him highly. So he used that seniority to bully me around. In this sense, unknowingly bully me. So this guy, when we used to pack up and go and, you know, meet up, whatever, and go to our separate rooms, he used to prank call Noshin at night. That was not me, yeah. that was you. Yeah. Ask her, she yeah. still thinks yeah. it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows the truth, that's all that matters, man. She doesn't actually yeah. see, she was really happy herself also. Like, wow, somebody is blank calling me. <laughs> 
and then we should do it to his room also. So he was also like, you know, dude, I got a prank call last night, you know. You, and there's only one girl on set, so he was also pretty No, 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 no. I was like, <laughs> <"Burr."> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See what I mean? See the bully. Yeah, I, I can break the secret on uh, on your station. It was actually our director Vishal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so he was just there. On sets and we, kept, sets. We, we kept Mr. and Mrs. Dad happy. So what is there? See, Chirantan is given the music in this film. Um, if you take any track from the film, any song, it's a. If you take any track or any like. Uh, song from the film, it's a completely different genre. There's not one simple method he's stuck to. You, there's a lot of, there's a hip hop number which you do this crazy, which is a lot of Latin flavor into it, and slow songs which has that old Vikram esque style, like yeah, you'd say. Yeah, yeah, so he's played with a lot, and I think uh, for Ch to choose Chirantan, I think he's chosen him not because he's related to him, related to him because he's a talented director. And oh, this, Chirantan did EMI. He did right. EMI, EMI mm -hmm. yes, yes. But at the same time, the chemistry between Vishal and Chirantan also gelled very well. They understood each other. And I think that's very important in the film because if you put a film on mute, you should still be able to understand the film because it's the emotions, the sound, and that's what talks.